So I have this aquarium and it's got water in it. Now, I'm gonna take this brass weight and I'm gonna put it in the water. And you know what's gonna happen. It's gonna sink into the water. It sinks all the way down to the bottom. However, if I take a cork and put it in the water, it floats in the water. Now, why does the brass sink and the cork float? Most people will say, well, it's because the cork is lighter than the brass. And that's true to a certain extent, but there's something else that's important as well. And to understand what's important, I want you to first look at that green tape that's down there. Notice that it's roughly at the level of the water, okay? That's important. So, I'm gonna now take this bowling ball, and it's a heavy bowling ball. Right, it's a heavy bowling ball. And I'm gonna put it in the water. Now, will it sink or will it float? Watch the level of the water relative to the green tape and watch what happens to the bowling ball. It doesn't sink, it floats. Why? Well, notice that the water had to rise as the bowling ball sank in it. That's because the bowling ball takes up space and so it has to push water out of its way. So the water level goes up because the bowling ball is pushing the water out of the way. Well, it turns out that this bowling ball doesn't weigh as much as an equal volume of water. So it doesn't weigh as much as the water that it displaces. Since it doesn't weigh as much as the water it has to displace to sink, it can't sink, it floats. In other words, this bowling ball is less dense than water. If it's less dense than water, it floats. That's really why the cork floats. The cork is less dense than water. If it's more dense in water, than water, like the brass, it sinks. So whether or not something sinks or floats depends on its density. I have another bowling ball, and it's heavier. And when I put it in the water, it sinks. So in the end, these bowling balls have the same volume, but their weights are different, their masses are different. So in the end, their densities are different. The blue bowling ball is more dense than water, so it sinks, but this bowling ball is less dense than water, so it floats. We'll end this with two common items, a Coke and a Diet Coke, 12 ounce cans. Is there enough difference in these two uh, products to see a difference in the way they float or sink? And the answer is yes. If I put Coke into water, it sinks. If I put Diet Coke into water, it floats. Why? Coke is sweetened with high fructose corn syrup, and it takes a lot of high fructose corn syrup to sweeten Coke to the taste everyone expects. So when I add up the masses of the water and the Coke syrup and the carbon dioxide and the high fructose corn syrup and the uh, metal of the can and so forth, and then divide by the volume of the can, it's slightly more dense than water, so it sinks. However, Diet Coke is sweetened with aspartame. It takes only a tiny amount of aspartame to get the same level of sweetness as a lot of high fructose corn syrup. So there's less mass in this can. Mostly it's the mass of the sweetener. And the total mass of all the contents and the metal of the can divided by its volume is slightly less than the density of water, so it floats.